Number 49. Electrons in an X-ray tube are accelerated through 1 times 10 to the 2 kilovolts and directed toward a target to produce X-rays. Calculate the power of the electron beam in this tube if it has a current of 15 milliamps. So they want us to calculate the power. They're giving us a voltage and they're giving us a current. So I know I'm going to be using the formula PIV. In other words, P is equal to IV. In other words, power is going to be equal to the current flowing through an object or a particular point, multiplied then by the voltage between those uh, between two points, right, or the potential difference. So now all I need to do is simply plug in the values. However, remember, current is in amps, which is also known as a coulomb, coulomb per second, and volts, uh, voltage must be in volts. All right. So what they give me is they gave me milliamps. So you know we're going to need to convert that to amps. So to convert that to amps, it would simply be the 15, divide that by 1,000. Right? We've seen that conversion many times now. And then the voltage, we're given kilovolts, uh, but we need that in volts. So we're going to take the 1 times 10 to the 2, and then we're going to multiply that now by 1,000 to get that into joule, uh, to get that into volts. Notice the thousands will cancel. And basically, it's just the multiplication because uh, the kilo and the milli essentially cancel, right? If you think about it, that makes sense. So 15 times then 100. And I don't know why I put that in the calculator. I already had it in my hand, I guess. So this works out to be 1.50 times 10 to the 3 watts. All right. Same thing as 1.50 kilowatts, joule per second, whatever you need it in. Guys, thanks again. Uh, hopefully this helped, and I will see you in the next problem. Take care.